Today we'll be discussing the Ambani's big war, the big war he's going to with all the businesses in the digital and the data economy space. It's been an exciting week with a number of announcements being made. And to discuss more on that, I have with me today Amar. Hi Amar. Hey Tushar. Amar, exciting week, a lot of announcements from Reliance's Geo platform. What do you make of these announcements really? Uh, Tushar, let's, uh, let's give it a Swaraja standpoint, right? What do we see? Uh, and we'll start by giving credit to whoever made the uh, nice Twitter graphic. We'll ask our team to put it up on the screen now. Uh, it's a very nice graphic of everybody Geo is going to war with. And it has Geo at the center, uh, Reliance and the Geo ecosystems at the center. And who do we have? We have the entire non-geo ecosystem surrounding them uh, uh, and being at war with them, right? This is perhaps, you know, perhaps the biggest takeaway, I think, from uh, from what Ambani has been building up. He wants to go to war in e-commerce. Ambani wants to go to war in telecom devices. Ambani is already at war with telecom service providers. And now Ambani is going to war, uh, you know, for 5G domination. So... If anything at all, Ambani has raised a ton of money and what does he have on his hands? He has a big war and I mean, he's, he's a very competent businessman, of course, and he will uh, obviously give his best to win. But the big takeaway is that his ambition is huge. Well, Amar, you mentioned about the ambition being huge and the money that has come in to, in a way, sponsor this ambition. But if we were to understand this war in different parts, how do we go from the entire picture how do we look at the big picture here so let's do this in four or five components right uh, what does ambani want to do next he wants to run a 5g network and he promises to build it by himself in india so that's component number one at the very backbone the telecom network itself ambani wants to build what does he want to do with the telecom network he wants to run a 5g and a 4g uh, telecom service which is what Airtel and Vodafone are doing and Geo is already doing. So the second component is your telecom service itself. The third component running on the network, which was built by Ambani using Made in India hardware and running a Geo uh, 5G or a 4G service. On top of it, the third component would be the software services and telecom services, media services, value added services that Ambani will bring to the table. These include Geo Meet, uh, you will have your, uh, you know, uh, calling services, uh, video chat and, you know, uh, uh, movies, songs and so on and so forth. The fourth important component would be e-commerce. Geomart is a big component of Ambani's uh, Geostack. Um, the, the whole ambition, the e-commerce is obviously a big part of it. Um, finally, at the other end of the spectrum, so at one end, Ambani is trying to set up a made in India 5G network. At the other end, he wants to give 500 million users consume, uh, consumer electronics, which is affordable mobile phones. He wants to give you geo glasses and other, I'm sure there will also be more electronic devices that will plug into the geo ecosystem, right? So he's looking at five, conventionally five different businesses and he's bringing them all together into one. And he wants to win in all five of them, right? And this is an ambition that has not been seen before. I don't think an Indian company or a, or any digital or a telecom company in the world has uh, tried to do this ever. Well, good point about the five businesses he wants to compete in. But uh, again, we've seen Google coming up with such a big ecosystem. There is Apple, which is having ecosystem it's of itself. So can you say that uh, Reliance is Geo is similar to any of them or perhaps bigger? No, I see. To, we are not telecom industry analysts, but if you would actually uh, try looking at different telecom companies and digital media companies and, uh, you know, huge technology companies, none of them are into all these five areas, right? Uh, you have Chinese software majors, WeChat. They are not into running a telecom network per se. Uh, Apple is a hardware company, you know, largely with, you know, a very active software ecosystem that also, you know, facilitates the sale of its hardware. But largely what is Apple? Apple is a devices company. Um, what is Google? Google is a technology company that does not dabble a lot into running a telecom network or actually building a lot of devices. And Google does dabble in hardware, but hardware is not 
uh, Google's core business. Uh, you can look at, uh, let's say, somebody like a Vodafone, a major telecom company and an MNC, massive uh, presence across the world. Uh, they don't get into trying to uh, do software or uh, trying to manufacture uh, hardware for 500 million uh, user base, right? So uh, what Ambani is bringing to the table is full spectrum media and technology and telecom domination, the likes of which we have not seen before. Uh, this is ambition on steroids. I don't think anybody has tried this. And uh, should an Indian company with such ambition succeed, it uh, bodes very well for a you know, uh, for an ambitious country like India. And let's hope he does manage to succeed in all of these five parts. Well, that's well summed up, Amar. Thank you so much uh, for putting those into five very easy to understand parts. And of course, Ambani is being very ambitious and we can only hope that with his ambition, he can power India's next digital revolution. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah.